Hi guys, welcome to another video tutorial with me. And in today's video, we are going to be doing this little bauble right here. Um, for those of you who follow me and have been in tune for my Sunday live painting sessions, this is what we did last Sunday. And this is also the last Sunday for the year 2021. So hop on over, watch this video, create all of these, or maybe just this guy if you want, and hop back on here so we can learn how to create this beautiful little uh, floral bobble. So moving on to the accessories or supplies that we're using to create this guy right here. Uh, for brushes, we are using Silver Black Velvet number four, and then the Filbert Princeton uh, Velvet Touch number six. I have a gouache right here. So I've got yellow ochre and lemon yellow for the centers. Then I've got some titanium white and what kind of blue is this? Cerulean blue for the petals. And then I've got green pale and burnt umber for the leaves. And then finally, because this has a beautiful sheen to it right here that you can see, I'm using Platinum by KMS Metallics, which is a gorgeous, stunning uh, metallic watercolor. I've got water ready, and this sheet right here is a Canson XL watercolor sheet. So uh, let's begin. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mix some of the colors and I'm going to get, um, as you can see, I've got some yellow on there already. Um, and I have some of the mustard. So these are the two colors right there. Uh, let me just give you the names really quickly. So that's yellow ochre and lemon yellow. So if I need more, I can always get some more from the tubes. Titanium white is right there. I need more of that. So let me just get some of that here. Great, that might be a bit much, but that's okay. I've got a tad bit of blue. I don't think I need any more than that. I need a little bit more of the green. So I'm gonna get some of the green pale, that's what it's called. And this light green is good to mix with just a little bit of the burnt umber and it'll give you that nice brownish green look. And uh, yep, yeah, so we are ready to actually start painting now. So I think the first thing I want to do is start painting the petals of the flowers first. So this way I know exactly where I'm placing them. And then we're going to go in and get some of the yellow and add the centers. And then we're finally going to end off with doing some leaves and greenery all around. It. Now given the size, this shouldn't take us too long. So, so I've zoomed in so we can see better. And I'm just going to start off by getting the filbert and we're going to mix some of the white and I'm just getting a little bit of water because what I want to do is water this down just a tad bit maybe even get the white down here because I, I want it to be potent but at the same time I just want it a bit watered down so it's not too too thick all right and so then the next thing we're going to do is just go ahead and start painting flowers. So I'll start one off over here. So all I'm doing is doing one, two, three, four, five. And then you can just adjust by adding a couple of extra st strokes to the main flower. So I'll do another one here. I want to get the areas that have the darkest color in first. I'll do one off to the side here so it looks like there's a flower kind of coming from the back. Uh, let's do one here. And you can rotate your sheet if you want to make it seem like the flowers are going all around. Sorry, no, that's not what I was trying to say. If you want it to, if you can paint, if you're more partial to painting a certain direction, then just kind of rotate your sheet and just have at it. So see how what I'm doing here. This flower is coming upward. And just keep it loose, guys. Just you're doing very simple little white flowers. 
Most of them are kind of facing upward. If you want one that's facing straight on, head on, you're literally just using the full width of your brush all around and leaving it as an open flower. We're also gonna do some tiny little, what's the word, buds for these guys. And I think that should be nice. All right, so I went ahead and made that a time lapse, and what I did was I filled the areas with the basic florals that I showed you guys how to do in the beginning, and then I also added a couple of dots here and there to indicate uh, tiny little buds. So now we're gonna go in and do the center of these florals, and like I mentioned earlier, I have a little bit of mustard and I have some of the pale yellow. So I'm just gonna activate these colors and what I will do is get some of the pale yellow first, add a couple of dabs, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get some of the mustard to kind of give it a little bit of offset. And now I've reverted to my number four silver black velvet brush. Okay, all right, so let's begin. So I'm gonna start off by adding a couple of dots here and there. Remember, because we're doing um, we're doing another version of yellow, we don't need to infiltrate this whole midsection with a bunch of yellow. You can leave like this one's facing upward, so I can add a couple more yellow dots to really make it prominent. But notice how I'm leaving white space, or like I'm not covering up the whole area with yellow. And so just try and do that. The yellow is supposed to be a nice pop to this turquoise that we have happening. And notice in the area where we've got like a glisten or a shine uh, because of the light hitting the bulb, I don't have too many flowers there. I kind of just allowed it to fade and just let the flowers really stand out in the darker areas. All right, so we've done that yellow. Now we gotta go ahead and get some of the um, mustardy yellow. So I'm gonna get some of that. Not really washing off my brush. I'm just gonna get the mustard directly from here. Just activating it a bit. And we're gonna go ahead and add some of these mustardy looking dots on the outskirts of the yellow or maybe even mixed in with the yellow. I think I prefer going on the outskirts. If you've got a thin enough brush, do the outskirts of the yellow that we've laid down. And the reason being it can look like a nice little outline and give it like a shadowy effect to our floral. Now make sure you've got more color, less water, otherwise little blobs are gonna happen, kind of like what's just happened here. We don't want blobs, we want very deliberate, tiny little dots. So I'm using a number four. If you have a number two, that might be helpful, or just be extra mindful or careful when you're doing this step, is my words of advice to you. Now, so for this one, I'm just going to go on the outskirts and dab, dab, dab away. Do our little dot action movement, whatever you want to call it. Add some here. And then finally add some here. And I think we're done everywhere. We don't need any more. I got some there here. Oh, barely got any here. All right, perfect. Done. All right, so for this next step, we are going to take just a tad bit of blue and more of the white and re-enhance our little petals. As you can see, some of them have started to really fade 
quite a bit. Oh, I missed some centers over there. I can always fix that later. Um, so we're just going to get a very, very tiny bit of blue and try and get some shadowy kind of effects happening and just enhance the white on there because I'd like to I'd like it to stand out way more. So I'm going to get some of the white and mix it on there. I'm getting some of that blue as well because you can alternate each petal with some of the blue. It doesn't have to be blue all over. You just want like little bits of blue happening in certain areas. So that's why I have that tiny amount of blue. Like it's super tiny, right? And then I'm just, I've got some of that light blue on my my brush and then I've dipped into some white and now I'm going to go ahead and add some of these strokes using the number four. And it just really enhances the shape as well and gives some nice shaded effects into our petals. And that's the whole point of this process to kind of get in a little bit of shadowy looking bits happening for our shadowy? Is that what I'm trying to say? Yes, shadow happening for our little bauble. And now again, um, outside of this bauble, you can just do this pattern as like by itself. And I feel like it's all the rage on Instagram. I've seen quite a few of these out there. Um, from a lot of the gouache artists. I just felt it would be really pretty on this uh, on this bauble here and so I said I'm going to enhance this and I'm going to make it a video so folks can also recreate something like this if they like it. So okay so all of that's done uh, I'll have to do a, a real close-up so you guys can see some of the blue. Um, it kind of blends in because we've got a black background that's dominantly blue. But that's the whole idea. The idea is to have it blend in but also kind of stand out. Um, Complement one another almost. And we have accomplished that. If you want to add a couple of strokes in between in these areas here where... I mentioned it's the light, it's supposed to be reflective of the light um, reflecting on it. You can absolutely go ahead and do that. So for the leaves, I am using the light green that I mentioned and I am going to use a little bit of the umber. So I'm just getting some of the green from here and then mixing it into this area because there's a little bit of umber happening right there. You could even add some white to the green if you want it to be, actually yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a little bit of white to the green just to kind of really make it lighter so it stands out against that nice background that we have. So slight change in plans guys. So using the number four, we're going to go ahead and start doing uh, little stems to attach our florals and then we can do the leaves itself. Or actually, you know what, you can just go ahead and just do the leaves. Let's do that. Let's just go ahead and do the leaves themselves so you can see. So what I'm gonna do is I'll give the buds a stem so that they're attaching to something. And I'm pushing them towards the, towards the flower. And now feel free to add more of the white to the buds if you're feeling like there's not enough. And I'm literally just doing a very rough job. Just adding some tiny little stems to kind of bring it all together. And let's see, there's one there. Almost kind of looks like um, 
uh, cherry blossoms a little bit. All right, so we've I've attached most of the stems. So now I'm going to go ahead and get some more of the green, nice and potent, and add some leaves. And let's do some leaves like right there. You're literally just using the tip of your brush to kind of create these cutesy looking leaves, giving the design some sort of direction by adding these leaves and kind of having them dip to the left or to the right or downward, having some at the top. Now the good thing about gouache is if some of your stuff is overlapping, it kind of hides it quite well. There's no see-through business because gouache is quite opaque, depending obviously on how much water you've used as well. Like if you really water down the color, then obviously it's not going to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some more and make this a time lapse. All right, so that's that. We're almost done. The absolute last thing that I wanna do to this is just going in and adding a couple of shadows to our leaves using the umber that we have. And so I already have some umber on my brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and add very, using just the tip of my brush, I'm adding very fine lines into the leaves that we have here. And I'm kind of trailing off, I'm not kind of finishing the lines off and I'm just adding it to the dominant bigger looking leaves as opposed to adding them everywhere. Maybe just some off to the side there. One on this one here. And at this point, if you guys feel like you want to add just a couple of dots of some metallics in here, I think that would be really pretty too. And I think that that is what I'm going to do for mine. And uh, I will show you guys how I do that just as soon as I am done this. All right, so I'm almost finished. And that's how that looks. So we are now ready to move on to the... All right, so for my metallics, I'm going to be using uh, Platinum by uh, KMS Metallics. Love her metallic watercolors. They are so potent and so amazing. So that's what I will be using. Uh, the Platinum is right there. Uh, activated really well. And actually let's just rest it down here so I can activate it better. And then we're going to add complementary kind of dots to um, the areas where we have our little uh, buds for these guys and if you want to add it over the buds too that works just kind of get creative with this idea of adding a hint of glisten and they will look especially nice or spectacular in the darker areas and maybe even in the lighter areas, but you'd have to really be holding it up in the light to see that. And that's okay. Uh, another way to do this is you can absolutely do a splatter if that makes it easier for you. If you're just like, I'm, I'm good with it ran uh, landing randomly in different areas. 
Sometimes it's nice to allow things to just kind of fall where they may. And there we go, almost done. This can get a little bit addicting, like you want to do these all over the place. Try and know when to finish and watch me giving you advice while me myself, I'm like struggling to stop. Okay, I think that's it. All right, so that is it. I'm going to do a close up so you guys can see what that looks like up close. <clears throat> All right, so here's our close-up. I am shining it towards, well, I'm leaning it kind of towards the light so you can see the glisten happening here and here and also on our little blue bauble. This is what it looks like just up facing aerial view. And I'm just gonna make sure that the, you can see clearly, there we go. Yeah, so that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Can't wait to see your floral baubles. So please tag me. My um, handle on Instagram is at hello Clarice G. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and please consider subscribing if you're new to my channel. I have a ton of watercolor and gouache videos. Well, mainly watercolor. Uh, and a couple of gouache videos and a couple of Procreate videos that you can check out. And lots of holiday stuff on here for you to create. So thanks guys for watching and we'll chat soon. Bye.